What's up guys, in this video, you are going to learn how to cite a website MLA format. If you're in college, if you're in high school, you probably have to do MLA citations for websites that you're using in research papers or papers that you're writing for school. I'm going to show you the easiest way to write an MLA citation for free. To do this, we're going to use my favorite website for automatically creating MLA citations, it's called citationmachine.net. So I'll put a link right below this video that'll take you right to this page. But this is how you're gonna do it. This is how easy it is. Let's say I've got here a website, blog, article, or whatever article that I read and that I'm using as part of my paper. All you're gonna do is copy the URL, go over to Citation Machine, make sure that MLA is selected, you're on website and paste in the URL, then click search websites. Now it's going to search the internet and find the article for you. Right here you'll see there's the article that I read. I'm gonna click select. And now you're gonna see some information. It says here that they found some things about the site. What they couldn't find was a publisher or sponsor. That's okay because we can add in some missing information if we can't find it right here. So I'm gonna to go to the final step. So if I scroll down farther, I'm gonna be able to edit the information that the machine pulled. You'll see here there's like a, a ton of authors. Now, most of these are commenters, uh, people who commented on the blog. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove all of these bottom people, and I'm just gonna keep the top one. This top one is the author. It's Michelle Schroeder Gardner. If I go back to her blog, I can see, okay, by Michelle. Schroeder Gardner. Okay, so we're good there. So we got our author, got the title, publisher or sponsor. If you were on a big conglomerate blogging or website, you could put in the name of the website like Mashable or Huffington Post or something like that. But for a blog like this, you probably don't need to put in a publisher or sponsor. I could probably put in her name again if I wanted to, but I'm just going to leave it blank. So we've got everything else ready. All you're going to do is click create citation. Okay, so now I gotta view a sponsored mes message, but I'll skip this part. Okay, so now I've got unlimited citations or whatever for the next 48 hours, yada, 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 that's great. Okay, so here we see right down here at the bottom of the screen, here is your MLA format. Now, you can see here I've got two showing up, that's because I've actually done this twice, but for your purposes, you'll see it right here. All you gotta do, guys, is you can highlight that, copy, paste it into the bottom of your research paper in your citations or references section, and you're good to go. If you see anything that looks out of place, you can always click the edit button and go back to this edit screen and then click update citation. But if not, like I said, you can just highlight and copy or press the copy button and it should be copied to your clipboard and then you can paste it to your research paper document. The other nice thing guys about Citation Machine is that even if you don't, maybe uh, maybe you can't use the machine for all of your citations or all your references, you at least see how it's formatted. So now I know, okay, so when I format MLA, the uh, author goes first, last name, then first name, then you've got the name of the article in, in uh, quotation marks, you've got the name of the website in italics, and then on the next line, you've got the date it was published, and the link to the article. So you can just learn right here how to write your own so that if you don't have access to this citation machine, at least you can see how it's formatted. That my friends is how to cite a website MLA. It's super easy with Citation Machine. I've got a link like I said below this video that'll take you right to it. Just follow the steps and you'll be good to go on all of your research papers. If you like this video guys, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, share this video with a friend. We'll see you next time. Oh,